Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it is Monday, November 2nd, and we woke up to snow. Um, I know a lot of you out there already have had snow. Um, we, this is the first snowfall we had. Not much, just a little bit. Um, but by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it is going to be back up to double digits, warmer weather, and then it's going to dip again. So Mother Nature is playing quite the joke on all of us. Um, not fun. Kids went to school in winter coats, winter boots. <laughs> you know, got to stay warm, right? Um, so it is Monday and uh, morning. So I don't, I'm not making a video at night because uh, we don't have much going on right now in the house, kind of at a standstill waiting for uh, spray foam to be done on the uh, walls in the addition. My dad's been up all weekend. Kids bathroom has been retiled, redone. We just need to repaint. Very excited, but I'm also so, so unbelievably exhausted. Oh my gosh. And the hard part hasn't even begun. Like we still have a lot to do. Um, so if you are a new watcher, welcome. Um, thank you for joining us today or me today. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please click on the subscription button and subscribe. I would really appreciate that and hit that notification bell as well. Uh, that would make me super duper happy. Um, so subscribe <clears throat> and <clears throat> excuse me, got a little froggy in my throat. Okay. So I don't have anything to show you guys. It's been so gloomy, so rainy, so cold. Um, and you know, ever since I lost my back deck, I don't exactly have a great spot to put my canvases. I used to put them out on the back deck where all the sun was shining. And I used to show you guys outdoor pictures or videos of my pieces out in the sun. I literally can't do that anymore. Like I would literally have to go to the end of my three car uh, length driveway to get to the end where the sun is and put my canvases out on the driveway just to take a video of them and people drive by and think I'm absolutely nutso, let me tell you. Um, so unfortunately, I can't show pieces outside anymore because I don't have any sunlight, believe it or not. Like even in the house, I don't have sunlight, like direct sunlight, I mean, like it's crazy. I don't have any pieces right now to show you. Um, that's a lie. I can show you these. <laughs> so, they're not uh, resined yet, obviously, but uh, this is the result. Look at that shimmer um, of the dark blue, the Prussian blue and the portrait pink with silver. That is dry now, so it still needs a coat of resin. And the yellow with, look at, look, look, oh my goodness. I'm so stoked about how um, this piece turned out. I never thought yellow would look so pretty. Um, I'm not a yellow person by any means, but, uh, or red, but that turned out super nice. Look at the shimmer on that in the copper and the yellow. So this also needs a coat of crystal resin and, um, both of them have sold to the same buyer. So one lucky person is getting both of these. So thank you so much for your support and purchasing pieces of my art. Another thing. I shall show you was my commission piece for my client with the autumn colors, the fall colors. It still needs obviously resin, but it is dry and look at that. So if you think that's pretty and the shimmer is gorgeous here, wait till crystal resin gets on it. And then in the beautiful sunlight or in a nice sight, bright sunny room, you're really gonna see. I love that little hint of the metallic cobalt blue just the right amount of blue in there. Didn't overdo it this time. So that turned out super, super nice. I'm super happy about that. So you can see my sides, everything crystal clear, nice and clean sides, edges. So that's gonna get crystal resin. For those of you who would like to try crystal resin, you can save 10%, no, nope, sorry, you can save 5%. I'm so tired. You can save 5% off your crystal resin order. I will put crystalresin.com down at the bottom for anyone who would like to try resin. And you, the resin is on sale 
and you can also save an extra 5% off using code Canela5. So try it out, you know, give it a go. You're, you, I'm telling you, if you varnish your paintings and then you resin your paintings, nine times out of 10, you'll never go back to varnish. I will never go back to varnish unless specifically requested by a client. I love resin. It's so much fun to work with and your pieces are just a lot more stunning um, when it's done. But again, my personal preference. All right, so today I'm working on a commission piece. Um, I've got a lot of commissions to do. I'm really backed up. Um, anyone who would like to order a commission piece off of me, just please keep in mind, um, turnaround time is now between 10 and 12 weeks um, to get a piece commissioned, uh, especially if it's like a bigger piece like this. If it's something really small, I can probably do it quicker, um, but I am so, so busy. So from now on, until I get caught up, I will continue with my gray series in one video. And then in the next video, it'll likely be a commission piece because this is all the space that I have. It's a four by four foot table. I don't have any space to paint anywhere else at the moment. And in fact, by the end of this week, I'm not going to have any space to paint because like I mentioned in a previous video, we've got water tank and, you know, the HVAC coming. So I have to get these commissions done. So what we have here is a um, 12 by 24 inch canvas, two of them. Um, I have made sure they were level and boy, let me tell you, it was hard to get them level because my table is like, it's two tables and this is the middle and it kind of dips down. So I had to prop, as you can see, lots of paper, popsicle sticks, all kinds, just to make sure it was level here, here, and here. Like you wanna make sure it's level here, but on a big canvas, you gotta make sure it's level up here too. Um, and down here and here, here, and here. So it took me a while, let me tell you, but it is level. Um, thankfully. So that's that. Uh, let me grab my torch and my spatula. Perfectly level. So my client has requested gray on the bottom, white in the middle, and blue on this side. It's very similar to uh, a piece I already did for the life of me. I can't remember the video number, but I will link it up here right now. So that's the video she saw, she liked it. It was gray, white, and black, but instead of black, she wanted to choose blue. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to flood this. Might as well just do it with you guys. I usually don't show you guys and how I do all of this, but I figured, you know what? I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, wrong color. I'm gonna do that right now and show you guys how I take care of my sides and how I get everything ready. So this video might end up being a little bit long, but I know for my diehard fans um, and viewers, you guys don't mind. So, and if you do mind, fast forward. Fast forward to the part that you want to see. There are timestamps in the video. You can see them in the description below. You can also hover your mouse or your, you know, your, I uh, can't really hover your finger, but if you hover your mouse or just anywhere over the uh, bottom of the video there where the red bar is, then the timestamps will show up there as well. And if you want to go straight to the painting part, just click on the timestamp and it'll take you right there. So uh, I will, I had a few people comment on some videos and say, oh, you talk too much, just get to the painting. Well, guess what? There's timestamps now. Like I work hard. I literally have to watch my own video and add the timestamps into the video. So I got to watch the whole thing in order to add the timestamps in there just for you guys. So I don't really care if you want to hear me talking or not. Just fast forward to the timestamps. That's what they're there for. And uh, then you can watch whatever you want. You want to go back and see a part that you missed. You want to go back to where I talked about what colors I'm using. Check out the timestamps. That's what they're there for. So it's really frustrating sometimes, you know, someone commented and said, you know, you talk too much and all I want to do is learn how to paint. 
you know, you should just do the painting. Yeah, well, you know what? I talk too much because I like it. If you don't like it, go and find someone else to watch. And that's what she said. She says, I'm going to leave your channel and find someone else to watch. Okay, go ahead. My my question was, why even bother comment? Why, why even say that? Why comment and tell me, hey, you talk too much. I'm leaving your channel. Leave. See ya. You know, I, it's, you know, I just don't understand some people. Like, did you feel better with making that comment and saying, hey, I'm leaving. Okay. I really don't care because I have another 120,000 subscribers that still want to watch me and care. So <laughs> I'm just venting. See what happens when I'm tired? And my foot still hurts too, by the way. <laughs> so I just get a little antsy, a little irritated. I try not to let stuff like that bother me. Like I have better things to do than to let stuff like that bother me. But come on, let's face it. Let's admit it. Stuff bothers everybody, right? So, but I'm over it. It is what it is. So as you can see, I'm just dipping my finger into the paint that has fallen. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Just any paint that's fallen on the table there and I'm using it to just dip my finger. Just to get the sides covered, I'll deal with making sure they're perfectly good after because I don't want to waste too much time on that especially if I'm gonna blow paint over it and it's just gonna cover it anyway. So you don't wanna mess around too much. Spend the time after you're done blowing to uh, you know, work on your sides and make sure they're super clean. Okay, so now we'll do the blue and then we'll get to um, the colors. But like I said, I thought it'd be important to show you guys how I start this color split process. And uh, that way you guys kind of get to see what's going on, right? So I use my squeeze bottles and this color is actually ultramarine blue by Liquitex Basics. But like I said, I'll get to the colors in a minute. So I had to mix some blue in here. I hope this is enough because I didn't, I only had one bottle. Oh yeah, this is plenty actually. I'm gonna even have leftover. What a beautiful blue, so pretty. Actually, I didn't need to mix another cup. I mixed way too much. But again, you never know, right? You never know what you're gonna need. I'd rather have too much than not enough, and then I have to mix more, and then it's just a pain in the butt. Um, I can just take some saran wrap, cover the top of this cup, put an elastic band around it, and it could sit here for months. As long as it's airtight and I have it covered nicely. So here, I made another cup right here. Put some saran wrap over it. I have some on the shelf over there from like a month ago and it's still good. So just, you know, cover it really well and then you're good to go. You don't have to worry if you ever need to use it again, then you have it there and it's available for you. So, or put it in a squeeze bottle. I already have a squeeze bottle. So I'll probably fill that up with it. And then the leftover, I'll just uh, keep in the cup for another time I wanna pour. If I ever use this ultramarine blue again, I will uh, use that before I go to my squeeze bottle. All right. So, I swear we woke up today and there was snow and Sophia's like, oh, it's like it's Christmas. I'm like, oh, I wish. I love Christmas. Who doesn't love Christmas? I love Christmas. My hope is that, uh, we get the house done in time so that we can actually put up a Christmas tree and, you know, put up all our Christmas decorations, maybe host a Christmas dinner or two, obviously, gonna depend with COVID and everything, but we will see. I'm hoping everything's done. If everything continues to go on the schedule that we're on, we should be done, but you just never know, right? Okay, and see, see how easy it is to use the squeeze bottle to get um, to the sides here. So this is why I love my squeeze bottles. These are Loli Vefi squeeze bottles. I'm sure many of you are uh, very aware and know Loli Vefi by now. I see a lot of people using uh, these bottles now. Um, I used to use the Wilton um, bottles off Amazon. I chucked them all in recycling and bought 
and got all low leave epi bottles. I think I have over a hundred bottles to be honest with you. So again, just using my finger to dab any white parts of the canvas. Again, I will make sure I deal with those sides later. So for those of you who are interested, again, I will put lowlyveffy.com down at the bottom. You guys can check out the website and you can save 10% off your entire order. And guys, she has everything on there, not just squeeze bottles. She has silicone mats, silicone molds, wood rounds, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's amazing how much Adriana has expanded her shop and I'm very happy for her. So, okay, two parts done. This is taking so long, I'm so sorry. Um, white, where's my white? Okay, so now what you wanna do is run a bead of white across and then that way when I pour my white out of the big bottle here it won't kind of flood into that side and just mess everything up it'll kind of act like as a barrier and keep it together okay I'm gonna try and do this quickly I know see this this is why I don't do this oh this stuck this is why I don't do this on camera typically because it takes so long, um, extremely long. And you don't need to see this every single time I do a video. So I'm doing it today because I had nothing else to show you guys, like dried pieces or anything, and I didn't have much to say in terms of talking. So I figured I would give me, take that opportunity to uh, show you guys how I get my canvases ready. All right. This should be quicker because it's a bigger, oh, I got some gray in there because I put my spatula right there on the gray. Okay. Not that it matters because when I blow paint everywhere, it's going to uh, disappear. Okay. Let's move over here. This is going to be pretty. I just know it. Because why? Because there's gray and you guys uh, have been watching me do a lot of gray lately and it's been turning out so pretty. Uh, next color combinations. I have some ideas. It's gonna be interesting. And this spatula, best thing ever. I know a lot of people use hair dryers to blow their paint when they're doing their butch, their butch. Oh my gosh, their Dutch pour. Um, people use, some people use their hair dryers. Um, I know Tammy Anderson. She likes to use the hair dryer to spread her paint around. If you don't know who Tammy Anderson is, I'm shocked. Um, Tammy Anderson is a wonderful, lovely artist. Really, really super great friend of mine. So if you don't know who she is, um, check her out. I will link her um, info up at the top. And uh, check her out and feel free to subscribe to my buddy there. But she uses a... I can't do this with one this way. She uses a, a hair dryer to push her paint around. I don't, don't, don't like that. I don't do it. I would rather use my, uh, my spatula. I love it because I can feel what parts on the canvas are more bare than others. So I feel like I have better control and I can feel better where, uh, where there's more paint or where there's not enough paint, but that's just me. Okay. I think I'm ready. Sorry. I feel so bad. Some of you are probably like, get on with it. I gotta make sure this is all covered properly or else it's not going to uh, flow nicely over the sides. That's the thing. If you have a dry part of the canvas and then you blow your color over it, it's not gonna flow down the side very nice. It's like almost gonna get like stuck as it's going down. I did that once and then I regretted that. Okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to Oh gosh, how did the torch get that far away? <laughs> okay, I'm going to torch all the bubbles. Because there's lots of bubbles, big bubbles.
You see how long that took? Probably like over 10 minutes for sure. For sure. Okay, torched, done. Okay, so today's colors I am using, um, as I mentioned, this is Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex Basics. Uh, the gray is a mix of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black. I mix them together to make gray. I put it here in this big bottle because I've been using gray a lot lately. Um, so there's that. That is the gray. And then on this side, we are going to use Thalo Blue by Grumbacher. Then we have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then Ultramarine Blue by Liquitex Basics. So this color is going to go over there. And then Silver, Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And on top to finish it off, Light Blue by Artist Loft. And then when I get down to the bottom, I'm going to use the same colors, but I'm going to omit, obviously, the Ultramarine Blue because it's already the base. So there's no sense in adding blue there. So let's get going and start up here or down there in your point of view. Uh, might as well do this too and get it over with. Okay. And you know what? As I go, I'm going to put them away. So let's... I was going to say, just make sure you don't put this down here because that would be pretty silly. All right, now we have the gold. Okay, we'll put that away. This is so nifty having this right behind me. Guys, I can't wait till my studio is ready. Unfortunately, it's going to be the last thing that is going to be done um, in this house by my dad obviously, because everything else is uh, more important. Kitchen, floors, um, my husband and I are painting the whole house. Yes, to save some money, we're gonna paint the house ourselves. Um, we did that when we built the you know, current house. We painted, I don't mind painting, I find it therapeutic. So we will paint the house. So everything needs to be done um, first before my dad uh, moves down to the basement and uh, does my art room. So I might be in this space a little while longer, longer than I anticipated, but that's okay. I still have a good space. And all good things come to those who wait, right? So if I want it done right, and I want it done properly, and I want it done the way I want, then I gotta wait. Okay. Finally, let's uh, blow this out. Um, I think I'm gonna start here and I'll do that side after, but let's start over here. I'm nervous, I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta blow that side. Um, <laughs> that's the hard part. That is the hard part. Let's, uh, I'm gonna come over here. After I get a piece of fluff out there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I've got to, I gotta think about this. I don't wanna muck this up. So that part's gonna blow up, so I'll blow up this way too. Okay, let's go, make sure this is on good. Okay, oh, the gold is so 
so almost tripped here. Gold is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I don't wanna knock this over because that would really suck pretty bad. Okay. Uh, this is so awkward because I'm backwards. You know, originally, um, my client, the gold wasn't part of the um, color choice. And then she had said to me, can we add yellow? I said, I can add whatever you want. But keep in mind, if we add yellow, it's going to turn green because yellow and blue make green. And she's like, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. Okay, she goes, take yellow out. But she wanted some sort of popping color. And I said, why don't you add gold? And she saw a lot of my recent videos where I use gold a lot. And she put gold in. Guys, I cannot tell you, when I bring you down for a close-up, the shimmer on here is ridiculous. What is that, a hair? Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I'm so, so, so happy with this. Oh man, the the blue is just so many beautiful shades of blue. Fix that. Okay, I am I'm not torching any of this. I'm going to get rid of that white speckle right here. There. I'm not torching any of this. Um, I'm not, obviously I can't put them together or spread them apart because of all the stuff I have trying to make it level. But I believe that we are matchy matchy here and give or take close enough there. So I'm not gonna actually touch that because I really like the way this has turned out. And I'm just stoked, absolutely stoked. So I'm not touching any of this. I'm going to fix all the sides and I'll be right back and show you guys a close up. Be right back. Be right back. All right, everybody. It's been almost 10 minutes. Uh, I spent some time cleaning up all my sides, made sure there was paint and no dry spots anywhere or no parts of the canvas showing. Um, super important. So I poured some more blue. I basically just, I've had a lot of people ask, uh, how do you get, how do you do that? You just take your squeeze bottle and I pour a bead of paint across here. And then as it's dripping, I use my finger to dab it. So same, same idea as how I started the beginning of this video. But, uh, as you can see, everything is, um, perfect. Do not forget take uh, a popsicle stick or any stick or your finger the stick is better than your finger but make sure you run it across the bottom and uh, get rid of all these drips you see all that you got to get rid of it you have to um, it will continue to pull your paint you see all those drips and you see there it's not covered the canvas so you can take your stick and just dab it just like that okay now take your stick and go all the way across. Okay, go all the way across, get rid of all those drips. And then if you see any parts of the canvas that aren't covered, like right there, you see that? Cover it. Just dab your finger, there, covered. You, that one little spot will show. So use this. Go all the way around, get all your drips because the drips will continue to pull the paint from the top down to the side. And in an hour, this may, may, may be gone. You never know. So get rid of all your drips. If uh, you need to pull your canvases apart, clearly I can't do that because I had to make sure they were perfectly level. 
um, and then just do the middles as well. So let's get to the close up. Look at the cells. I'm so happy with this piece and I'm so happy that my client last minute decided, hey, throw in that gold because it is just beautiful. This is my favorite. I hope it stays right there. It's such a beautiful hint of blues. Even this here, the ultramarine blue was a great choice. Um, I really liked, she said dark blue and I went with this because if you go too dark, this when it's wet it looks great it is going to dry darker though keep that in mind so if you use like a thalo blue it will dry and look almost black um, if you use dioxazine purple for example it looks great wet but when it dries it will be really really dark so keep that in mind when you're doing a dark base other than black obviously look at that so pretty so so pretty i'm so happy with this piece i hope my client is watching so there you have it i'll go as far back as i can there you have it with the studio lights on i'm going to turn the lights off and we're going to check out that beautiful shimmer be right back Alrighty, so let's check it out with the lights look at that shimmer just regular lights not the bright white studio lights so pretty look at that right even there in the blue I love this. I'm so happy. Look, that's my favorite spot. Look at that. It's so pretty. Super duper happy. So let me know what you guys uh, think about this one in the comments below. Uh, don't forget, next video will be the uh, continuing with the gray series. I think I might do some green and gray. Maybe some portrait portrait pink added to that. There's another part of my favorite. Look at that. So pretty. So uh, everyone's been throwing out quite a bit of color combinations. And I'm like, ooh, that would be pretty. Oh, I should try that one. So uh, I'm going to try and do my best to pick colors that you guys are um, mentioning. Um, so I will do my best. And that will be in the next video. So until then, uh, in the meantime, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like my like subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Hit the like button as well. Um, everything you need to know is in the description below. Um, Loli Vefi discount, crystal resin discount. Thank you to those who have donated to my PayPal channel. Why do I say channel? I keep saying that. My PayPal link to those of you who have donated to my PayPal link. Thank you so much. Um, I'm tired. I'm going to go sit down and uh, rest my foot. I'm it's getting better. Um, it's turning really black right now. <laughs> you don't want to see it. Trust me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just putz around and keep doing what I'm doing. Um, for those of you I saw the, talking about the door, there's the door my dad broke through. Uh, don't mind the mess. It's insane. Um, but there's actually here, you know what, without tripping, hold on. Let me pick up my microphone cord without tripping. I will show you guys real quick, even though you probably saw it in the renovation video. But for those of you who didn't, my dad, myself, and my husband broke through concrete to put a temporary door. My dad's the best. He built some fun stuff. Um, spray foamed all in there. Um, it's cold in here. Woo! Hello! So he spent the whole day yesterday on Sunday and he framed the entire, no, Saturday, the entire basement so that when my brother came Sunday, he was able to do all the electrical, as you can see. Um, so we're moving along. There is the sump pump that is draining all the water. If you saw the beginning renovation videos of all the water that was flooding in the ground, um, this is all the concrete that needs to be removed from breaking the door, but let me open this a bit more. There's my art space. This is my new art studio. So um, it's 20 feet this way and from here to there is 35 feet. Um, but 
you know, 10, 15 feet of it will be utility room and, you know, pantry and, you know, cantina for those Europeans who know what I'm talking about. But this is all my art space. I'm super duper excited. Um, I can't wait till it's done. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Um, until the next time, have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.